Hey, how's it going guys? Well, in this video, we're just talking about the classification of quadratic forms. So this is some topic in linear algebra related to eigenvalues, eigenvectors. And and in, in, in the way I see it, I think this is a more simple way of understanding it. The reason why it's called quadratic is because some terms, when multiplied by itself, can go up to the power 2. Hence, it's a quadratic equation. Well, a form, an extended quadratic equation. Anyway, let's, let, we might need to pause this video a few times to really write this down and understand and take notes from here. But I will go on anyway. Okay, so the first point, a quadratic form can be expressed by the following expression for an n-variable function. Qx equals the first term, so a constant at a point one one. So this is a position in a matrix. Think of this as a matrix for an n by n matrix, but position one one x1 squared plus c12 x1 x2. So we can see these two values, in a way, they're, they're the function which corresponds to the constant here. You're going to see a matrix in the example, but I'm going to do 3 by 3 because nobody's got time for m by n matrix. This is just theoretical knowledge. So as you see, if you just pay attention from position 2 up to n times, and if you go all the way down to position n, it goes all the way up to n times. Okay? So try and you know, understand this, break it down, have a quick read. But this is very straightforward. This is just a Q matrix, okay? And these are just the positions. Now, this is the way things get really heated because this is the whole point of class classifying a quadratic form. The last two points are the most important. So let's read out. Point two. A principal minor is the determinant of an M by N sy symmetric matrix A where the delta where we express delta n for delta of n by n matrix is it means is the determinant of the symmetric matrix A. This is to say that this function, this this notation we use is just to determine for every position whether it's a one by one, two by two, three by three, and see, and to check whether the solution is positive or negative. Over here is the is the cases. If the if the one by one determinant matrix is positive and 2 by 2 and so on up to n by n are all positive we can say that a is a positive definite so the symmetric matrix is positive definite okay key point however if the determinants are, are swapping between negative positive negative positive and so on it's a negative definite if neither of these cases occur then we say that the matrix is indefinite okay so i haven't wrote it down but if these cases don't occur then we say that the matrix is indeed indefinite, okay? Let me just write down, so, indefinite. Hope this is how you spell it, okay? So this is if those two points don't occur. Okay, so we're gonna move on to an example, okay? I'm gonna quickly swap this over. Okay, so let's take this example I just produced, okay? So let's let the Q function, so instead of using X, I'm gonna use x y z i don't like seeing x1 x2 x3 it gets a bit confusing okay so let q equals this function and now i'm going to try and write this into a matrix okay so for this case for a symmetric matrix a we need from x y z across down and x y z across here okay so we're going to try and define here so the x squared, y squared, z squared. So think of it as um, a multiplication of, two, of com a combination of two factors, yeah? So x squared will be x times x, so minus 5. The coefficients will appear here. So in this case, x squared will be minus 5. y squared here will be minus 5 again. And z squared will be minus 2. Great. Now, Notice this one. You got two positions for x, y, and x, y. So for two x, y, because you got two positions, we need to half it. So it'd be for two, we can split into one and one. So two over two and two over two. For x, z, x, z appears here and here. So we split minus six into two parts. So we're going to have minus three and minus three. And because we have no y, z, so these two positions will have to be zero. Good. Okay. Okay. So from now, we need to calculate the determinants of three conditions. Because it's a three by three matrix, 
we are interested in finding delta 1, delta 2, and delta 3. So we can therefore classify. So instantly, delta 1 is a 1 by 1, so it will just be this minus 5 position. So delta 1 is going to be minus 5. And this is negative. So we have, we're looking at a possible negative definite, because obviously it's not positive. So it eliminates the first condition. Okay, so let's look at delta 2 now. Delta 2 is a 2 by 2 matrix from this position. So minus 5, what kind of minus is that? <laughs> Minus five one one minus five. So finding the determinant, this one is going to be minus five. So to find the determinant, we times diagonally across on n rows because it's two by two, just one row. So this minus this minus five times minus five is twenty five. Minus one times one is one, so it's twenty four, and that seems to be positive. Okay, so we'll just take note. Our solutions here because we don't have enough space. So delta one we say we said was negative, delta two was positive. So delta three is going to be the deciding factor of what the hell is going to happen next. Okay, so delta three is this entire matrix, the determinant of this entire matrix A. So we can just say this A. So to do this, we times across here. And then multiply the the diagonal here, and then multiply the final diagonal here, and then we do the same across. So you kind of have to use a ruler if you can't you don't know if your diagonal is too well. Alright, so multiply this across minus five times minus five times minus two, twenty five minus fifty. Okay, then this one one times zero. This one is zero. Minus three times this is zero again. So that's done. Now we're gonna minus the other direction. So minus 3 times minus 5 times minus 3, so it'll be 9 times 5 minus 45. 1 times 1 times minus 2, minus 2, minus 5, and this is 0. So what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Minus 50, minus 47, so this will be plus. So therefore, delta 3. Is minus 50 minus minus plus so be minus 50 plus 47 is minus 3 it's less than 0 so hence perfect so hence we can conclude that delta 3 is negative and so based on the previous uh, section you saw previous slide we confirm that the matrix A is a negative definite and that's it guys that's the end of the video a is negative definite. Perfect. See you guys soon. Adios.